Hello everyone and welcome to Casey of this um, afternoon and this is Casey Key is coming at you again this afternoon. So today I want to teach us how to use the auxiliary piano. I may not be teaching us everything but the little I can put out to us today. We're going to be having subs, um, classes on this particular one subsequently alright. But this is going to be the first for now. So this is going to be the first for now. And um, what I want to show us is just some few stuff you can use for when you are going to your four, when you are going to your five, when you are going to the one, some of the notes you can combine that will make sense, all right? And uh, when you are going to your six as well, you can use some of this, all right? So when you are going to your four, so I want to go to my four now, I can do my, we are on the key of F sharp, all right? I want to go to my four, I can do, so Lado, that is C sharp, D sharp, F sharp. That's on my four. You see? So C sharp, D sharp, F sharp. So I can do this rhythm. Melody, sorry. So you good. Now to my five. I can do D sharp, F, G sharp. So let's go for the four. to my four again so I did that was yeah we don't know that was C sharp low octave C sharp on a high octave so C sharp C sharp C sharp again then I came to my B G sharp now A sharp G sharp to F F sharp so you can do so so C sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, F, A sharp, G sharp, to F sharp. So I'll go to my five again. So I'll go to my five again. So I'll go to my five again. So same feel like I did. It's a mono right now. That's why two notes can't talk together. You see? So, before leaving this, before touching this note, I'll still be holding this somehow. So, it will not be... So, there will be a drag, you get? So, I did that for here again. So, it's about me. That was actually what sounded. So, but for me to get this now, my hand will be... You see? So your hand will remain here. So your hand, your hand will remain here before it goes to the rest. Now, don't use your modulation bend anyhow. Um, let me take this here so that you can see the modulation bend. Now, don't use it where you are. When I'm doing this, no, 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 no. no. It makes it go off somehow. So what you do is, now, when I come to the note I want to rest my target note then I will drag it up then I'll bring it down that was the pentatonic but as I was doing it my hand remained here that's why I get in that sound Woo! kind of sound alright so when I talk this I will not move my hand here That's a 
but they're turning alright. Five, six, one, two, three, five, six, one, two, three. That's all. So this is all about today's class on uh, auxiliary usage, and I'm going to be coming to you with class two, and it's going to be in no time from now, very soon. All right. So God bless you. See you guys in the next class. And thanks to Ken Keys, the one that is playing the chord for us. Let me show. Let me show you the young man. That's a young man there. He's the one playing the chord. All right. See you in the next class. Please like, subscribe, and share, and tell a friend about the channel. God bless you.